Hey YouTube. Um, this is like a vlog type thing, I guess. Um, yeah. So I thought maybe it'd be cool for you to just sort of see what part of my evening routine is. Um, today I'm going to be feeding these nymph for Herodula membracea, membracea, giant Asian praemantis. Um, this is half of my nymphs. Uh, I think I got probably a good 150 from my last leaf. Don't have a roof on the way. So this is what I've got to do every night. Um, sometimes, depending on the way I sort of um, space things out, I do this every couple of nights or every three nights. Um, but as it stands, I did the rest of the nymph yesterday. I've got these ones to do today. Um, if you don't want to watch a video of me just talking and uh, reading out some comments, then, you know, no worries. Um, but, yeah, um, I will get started in just a moment. There's a few comments which I don't have printed out, uh, simply because I remember people leaving them. I remember sort of replying to them online, but I don't know where they are, because there's quite a few videos to look through. Um, so if your comments aren't on here, don't be insulted, I just couldn't find them at the time. Um, let me have a look. Let me start with... Let me start with... Hmm. That's not going to work. Just can't explain how good it feels. I just can't explain how. Just can't explain. Alright, so the first one I've got is uh, Harvey Squires. <laughs> Please do a video responding to our comments. Well, that's what's happening, I guess. Um, and he also said, can I get some water-based animals? And can I get a burrowing spider? Which I assume means a um, trapdoor. Um, I have looked into getting a trapdoor. Um, if I see one for a decent price, I'll have a look. Um, I am concentrating more on Promances at the moment, as you know. Uh, and the, uh, the spiders are for my sort of personal enjoyment to an extent. Promances I have a near on sort of strange obsession with, so I'm trying to use up more of the space that I've got in here because it is limited space on Prime Mantis. but if I can find a trapdoor cheap, probably a red trapdoor um, I will consider having a look at getting one and um, water based animals, same thing um, I would love to but it's just a question of space I mean I could, I could get stuff but it would be unfair of me to spend money on um, Oh, sorry, spend money. It'd be unfair of me to get some sort of water-based animal or something which lives 
in an aquarium and not be able to give it a large enough aquarium and I know most of the things that you'd keep in an aquarium would need a fair amount of space um, along with heating and all the filters I've already got a handful looking after what I've got at the moment um, obviously mantises are a lot more effort than tarantulas in terms of oh, I've got to feed these guys every two days some of them are not so bad to leave for a little bit longer um, if you see me grabbing around as well it's just because I've got so many loose bloody fruit flies that on the ceiling for Christ's sake if I'm doing that it's because rather than get them out of the box sometimes it's easier to literally just find them around this place this place is a bloody nightmare it's full of crickets and fruit flies and you know you name it what not um, but again um, I saw Oh, what's the name, what's the name, I was watching another YouTuber who's I guess got like just over a hundred subscribers so similar to what I've got Lil Ad Connolly, he actually added me um, the other day and he's got something called a water scorpion um, haven't seen anything about them beforehand but they look absolutely glorious absolutely insane, really really cool so if I could get my hands on something like that then I'll, uh, I'll have a look have a look at that. Um, I do have some comments from him, comment from him, some more information on him, but I'll bring that up later. So um, let's carry on with this. Little bastards, I've got a couple in there, I don't know how I've got two in one. Right, hello, Herodula. Herodula, member corner. Right, let's have a look. Get here, you little fruit fly bastard. There's a few. So the next thing I've got is a uh, Mako Maraki. I don't know how you pronounce it. You're the best. Very entertaining, which is absolutely lovely. Thanks. Thanks, dude. And uh, also from the awful ukulele video, which I can do more of if you're down for it. If you're not down for it, give me a shout. Well, I say give me a shout. Don't say anything at all. Um, it's just said cute. I'm not sure whether that's a good cute or whether that's a you're an idiot cute, but either way, I'm going to take it as a good one. Uh, hi Tacker, one, two, three, one. One day ago. Great video. Always like nymph feeding session cover ups. That was the same thing, the ukulele. Would it be nice to actually see some nymph feeding? Well, let me give you some nymph feeding right now. God blimey, sorry about that. Um, Let's see. So these are all the same type. It's Twizzle Me Camera. Um, I'm not going to do a lot of editing on this video, to be honest. It's just a vloggy type thing. So, you know, right, let's get that little, little baby. Decent shot. This is a lovely camera. My girlfriend got me this. Um, for my birthday and it's one of the most used presents I've ever had it's absolutely amazing it's also I know it's one of the ones that uh, they use on Brave Wilderness and if you haven't seen Brave Wilderness I highly recommend it it's freaking cool really really cool um, literally basically like my dream job he just travels around just looking at cool animals and cool inverts um, let's drop, I'll drop a couple in just see if I can get them to definitely in front of the camera Come on guys, it's not going to do it. I know how it is, you try and do one of these nymph feeding videos, this is why I don't do too many... Oh! Oh no! Come on! No, oh, you didn't want it. Well, that's the fail. Anyway, lid on, let's try the next one. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm getting carried away, I'm getting trailing off. Uh, let's bring you another one in front of the camera. This one's a bit lively. I think every time I'm spinning this thing, he's trying to go around. Oh, he's bloody jumping out of the house. Chaos, is bloody chaos. This is why I don't do nymph feeding videos. Uh, right, you're going back. Right, let's not do you. Let's not do you. Let's find another one. This one's lovely and calm. Let's give this a go. I think I'll call this one... 
George. George the John, the John Asian Prime Mantis. Um, I've actually noticed this is one of the boxes I've got a couple of little mints in. Um, sometimes when I'm sorting them out, I end up with two or three in a tub um, for the first level, first two instars, whatever you'd call it. Um, it's obviously not the best thing. Oh, he's seen it. He's seen it. He's seen it. Oh, no. Almost. Come on, guy. Um, I think he will go for one, though. He's definitely having a look. Let's see if I can pop a couple more. I've got a lot of uh, fruit fly cultures at the moment who are... Oh, come on. Don't scare them off. They're just on the edge of starting properly, so... Getting any fruit flies out of them is a bit of a bastard because they just all hide in the little wood fibre stuff. Oh, come on. We definitely want to get at least one eating. As soon as I've done this, I can stop doing it. I can go back to the video. Come on, guys. No, look, this isn't going to work. Let's not do that. I'm not going to edit this out of the video because, you know, we have fails in life, and that's one of them. Let's twizzle this back around. I will definitely try and get you some nymph feeding at some point. Um, but for the moment, that's a fail. Right, I know I had a um, subscriber, a subscriber a little while ago, and I can't find the comment. But they said, uh, it's a bit of advice, why don't you print off a script when you're doing these things? Got you covered. I say a script, it's not a very good script, it's just a bunch of random notes and things that uh, people have put. So, it looks awesome. Uh, I'll be using live plants in my ghost mantis setup. We need different light source, blah blah blah. blah. This is Antonio Wool. Uh, plants, get some palms. So this guy is basically saying. Was it? And along with some other people. Um, it would be nice. Oh, for fuck's sake, you're going to eat it straight away, aren't you? Uh, it'd be nice to try out some live plants, and I would love to try out some live plants and do some of these live setups that a lot of people have done. And they look really cool, I've seen a few of them, there are some of them at the BTS. Um, the only reason I haven't done any tutorials or anything on it, is because I haven't done it before. So, if I was to tell you, oh yeah, this is how you can do it, this is a great way of doing it, these are great plants to use, there's a good chance it'll all go to shit. Um, you know, I don't know. So I will give you a go on that sort of thing. Like I'll, uh, I'll show you my, my attempt. But whether it'll work, I don't know. Um, what else we got? Uh, things you could do. Your voice is a little loud in this video. Uh, some points your voice was buzzing. I do mean to get a microphone. Um, I know I need to get a microphone. My equipment currently is inferior to other YouTubers. Apart from my camera, which I can get some crazy close-ups on, um, I do need, do need a, a better microphone. Come on, you, oh, you little shit. Um, why do you always swear? Well, if I didn't swear, and I know people don't like it, it wouldn't be me. And I know it's not the best, um, but it is me. I work in a kitchen, 
Uh, there's a lot of swearing. I'm not blaming it on anyone. It's my own fault. And I can try not to, but at the end of the day, I am who I am. Um, and I'm sorry about that if you don't like it. Um, at the end of that last comment, uh, where he's given me some information about microphones, etc., which is jolly... Oh, God, a lecture buzz free. Um, again, not a complaint or a hate criticism. Basically, just um, give me some advice, which is very, very uh, welcome. Thank you very much. Like I said before, any criticism, but anything you've got to say, which may help me make my videos better, by all means, give me a shout. Um, these little bastards constantly jumping out. Go on, back in. Get in there. Right, duh, 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 duh. just like your videos and can tell they have potential to be even better than they already are. However, I don't make and post YouTube videos, so feel Oh, no, sorry, that's the same thing. That is the same thing. Um, Lil Ant Connolly, subbed after Silver Spider recommended you. Please check out my channel. Now, I did check out Lil Ant Connolly's, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, probably said it on his channel and I'm just ignoring it. Um, however, L-I-L-A-D, Connolly, 7, C-O-N-N-O-L-L-Y, 7, Lil Ad Connolly. I did check out his videos and he has got a crazy collection of stuff. If you like the collection of uh, inverts I've got, you'll really like what he's got. And the other thing he's got is a Pac-Man frog, a horned, an ornate horned frog. And I used to have one of those and they're really cool. Really unbelievably cool. Plus he's got the Sycorus Terosis. I think they're the Sycorus Terosis. He's definitely got sand spiders of some sort. Um, the Water Scorpion. Uh, he seems like a really nice guy. He's absolutely Scottish. Um, so, you know, that's always a plus. Unless you're some sort of, um, I don't know, old medieval knight who doesn't like the Scottish. You know, those kinds. But... No, he seems really cool, and they're really good videos to watch, and the quality is fine. Um, highly recommend, so if you get a chance, have a look on his channel. Um, definitely subscribe to that. Like I say, he's just had his first 100 subscribers, which is me not long ago. Um, I'm still only on a hundred and a few. Um, but yeah, definitely recommend. Definitely recommend. That also being said, I finally watched some videos by Tarantula Addict the other day. I don't know how I've missed that one. It's one of these things I constantly hear Daniel Oakley and Spider-Man mentioning, oh yeah, we've got a seen Tarantula Addict, or we met Tarantula Addict, or we watched some Tarantula Addict videos, and somehow I've just not watched them. And then I did the other day and I was like mind blown. Both of these people, Lil Ad Connolly and Tarantula Addict, it's one of these things where I sat down and watched like one video to start. And then before I knew it, I'd been watching like 30, 40 videos in a row. Taking up about four hours of my time and just basically wasted my evening. But I mean, I mean they're great. They're really great. Um, but they're just very addictive, especially when, uh, especially when you haven't sort of seen any of their videos. You just sit there and fucking list through them. Um, but yeah, great. Both of those guys, great. Um, Ron5, will you do a video setting up a varium with some ghost mantis and with real plants um, that are good for mantises? Now, once again, real plants, I don't know. I'll give it a go. Ghost mantises, definitely. This here was for ghost mantises. Um, I'm sort of edging on the idea of going for some wandering violin mantises instead and making a new ghost mantis enclosure. Only because obviously this is near the heat source anyway. Ghosts aren't so picky about what they need, whereas the violins are. Um, but I will definitely be doing one of those, um, one of those enclosures with a colony of mantises, as as opposed to as opposed to one or two. Um, right, I'm gonna skip this one for the moment. I'll come back to it. Um, oh, where is it? Da, 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 da. I feel like I'm missing one. 
Well, anyway, I had someone who said, I thought you didn't risk your mantises after seeing this glorious build. Um, the risk is obviously in housing them together. And up until this point, I've never done them together. And to be honest, I'm still quite worried about these guys. Um, not least because instead of doing ghosts, obviously they are devil's flowers and they're extremely expensive. However, I've got so many comments about um, doing these sort of group enclosures. I'm not going to lie, I sort of uh, got really curious about it and then I saw some other people's ones on YouTube and they're really fucking, they're really cool. Like, it looks glorious and I mean that's the centrepiece of this room. I've not had any troubles so far. But, as I did say, it is a risk. If you're going to do it, you can't expect not to have any any problems. So, like I say, so far, I've not had any issues with it. Um, and hopefully I won't. But, you never know. It could go to shit and that's, you know, a good 70, 80 pounds worth of promances in there. Um, but, yeah, you know. I'm going to give it a go, and if I seemed hypocritical at that point, I am sorry about that. I probably hadn't intended to do anything like that. Um, I still recommend, if you're keeping just a couple, I still recommend keeping them separate. Um, if you want to be safe, it's the safest way to do it, even if they say that you can keep them together. Um, but, you know, I've given it a go, why don't you? It's all personal, I guess. I need more flies. These flies are being a bit, a bit of a cheeky monkey. Right, what else? Uh, you're doing a great job. Keep up the good work and make videos uh, the way you want them. If someone complains about rambling, they can either pack. So, uh, Jesse Dean, this is basically just saying good job, which is, you know, thank you, really thank you. That's, uh, that's, that is lovely. These sort of comments are really sort of, uh, confidence, confidence boosting, I guess. I mean, I'm, I'm a pretty confident person. Um, but you know, it's, it's nice to get these sort of things, especially when you've just started doing these videos, it'd be really hoping that eventually I can be, uh, you know, I can I can have a bigger audience and do a higher quality video. Um, Cause I enjoy doing them, and I hope that you enjoy doing them, doing them, watching them. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. Uh, Deadly Tarantula Girl. Yeah, that's right. I got a comment from Deadly Tarantula Girl. And if you don't know who that is, go straight on YouTube and search it in your search bar. She's one of the more sort of famous invert keepers. Uh, American, really, really good for tarantulas. Really, really excellent for tarantulas, actually. She's got a huge, huge collection of them and a lot of really good tutorials. So if you're just getting into teas um, and you want some care sheets and information on teas, that's a good way to do it. Um, deadly tarantula girl. And she says she wants to thank Alan Hickin, aka the Spider-Man, for mentioning me. Um, I like the material you present, uh, great channel, I'd like to see a video about how you built your room for your inverts, sounds like you put a lot of thought into building the room. Wow, wow, here we go. This room works, whomever, I'm not a builder and I've said this before, the way I did it, it was random, 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 um, I built it, I heated it, and then I put thermometers around and I basically put shelves where they would fit. I didn't, you know, I, I didn't know what I was doing. It looks like this room's made of cardboard for for all, um, you know, it may as well be made of cardboard. It works. It works really great. Um, but you see some of these really professional invert rooms. And I've got a friend um, who lives down the road from me called Daz. And he's really fantastic for... Tease, I've just lost a little praying mantis. Oh shit. Um, and he's got a really, really fantastic collection and everything looks really professional. And then you see this room and it looks like it's made out of cardboard boxes. Where are you then? Oh, hello. Um, 
if you're looking to buy any tarantulas, Facebook, uh, Web Spinners. He's got a really, really, really good collection. He's really reasonable, really great to deal with, um, very friendly. He's not, I mean, he's basically an encyclopedia of tarantulas and inverts. Um, and I do mean that, he's basically an encyclopedia of tarantulas. I'm not sure if he runs or whether he's just, or whether he's, he's a big part in the Ashford Arachnid Club. Um, yeah, definitely worth speaking to. I mean, I would add him on Facebook if you get the chance. That's Daz Moss, that's um, Web Spinners. So, yeah, if you get a chance, that's always worth doing. Hmm, I'm doing the... I don't know what that's about. don't know what that's about. Video ideas. Video ideas. Rehousing, enclosure design and setup. Well, we obviously had that. I'm going to do more of it. I'm going to show you how to build... I keep saying that I'm going to show you how to build these little boxes. They don't look a lot, but when you're keeping a lot of Promances, they're pretty grand. Um, see what I did there? Pretty grand. Herodula grandis. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, they're pretty good. I mean, obviously for the Herodula species, they only work up to about L4, L5, really pushing it. Um, but for some of the smaller species, they're really great. And to keep your nymphs in separately, they're, they're nice. It keeps them well ventilated. So, like I say, I'll show you how to build those. When I do rehousing videos, I will show you those. Um, I haven't got a lot of molting videos, I could always do those. Um, breeding videos, that's something that I'll have, there'll be a ghost breeding video soon. Um, I've got another pair of, uh, of orchids, that's Hematis cotanus, or how do you pronounce that? Coronatus? Coronatus? I guess that's like coronation, orchid, flower, I don't know. Anyway, orchid mantis. I'll be doing another breeding video. I'm just waiting on one of my males who's almost there. Um, and once he's molted, he'll need another two, three weeks. Um, but yeah, that's in the pipeline. There's a lot in the pipeline. Um, if you're interested in getting certain animals based off feedback, I'd request. Pistella horrida. I believe that's some sort of assassin bug. Um... I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. Platamerus bigatus. I've seen that on the Spider-Man's channel, so presumably that's the spotted assassin bug, the big one. The big one. Uh, like the spiny spotted assassin bug? or so No, I don't know. This, the spiny assassin bug, and I think the other one's the spotted assassin bug. Um, again, that's that's something that should be really cool. Like I say, I'm trying to keep the space for mantis, but that would be really cool. Um... I wouldn't want to step in on what the Spider-Man does, really. Um, I know he does some... He obviously has great videos on tarantulas, but his ones on scorpions and his assassin bugs are really one of the big, big things for me. I really, really enjoy those. It's something I don't see often as well, so... Um, you know, maybe in the future I'll have a look at something like that. Um, but for the moment, not so much. I was looking for... What have you got on here? Uh... I'm not going to pronounce it, but I know that one of those is an uh, Emperor Scorpion. And I really was looking for Emperor Scorpions. They'd be really cool, but they're hard to come by at the moment. Um, I know the pet shop down the road from me was saying that if I can get Emperor Scorpions, obviously, I think there's an import ban on them, so they have to be captive bred, which is probably a good thing, to be honest, if you're looking at it conservation-wise. Um, I would love to breed them. If I can get a hold of them, I will. Lost. If I lost this, lost. I've been talking. Oh no, no, you're in there. Um, if I can get older, I keep doing. What is this? It's the nervous thing from talking to a camera for too long. Uh, if I can get older them, I will. I'll give it a go. Um, because you know, it's one of the classics. It's a big, stunning scorpion. It'd be really, really cool to breed those. I don't know anything about scorpion breeding at the moment, but. You know, maybe that's something I'll get into in the future. I've got my two little uh, European wood scorpions. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce their name. Um, I'll give you some more videos on those at some point. Uh, that's all of the this tray of membrosia, membrocana, membrosia. I don't know. Um, I'm lost on names at the moment. It's just 
there's so many different so many different types of buddy horogula species it's an absolute nightmare it's like a it's like bracky palmer with all their different types but um, yeah so what is next so that's everything i got printed out at the moment um, Micro Titus, Titus. I think that's a really small type of scorpion. Yeah, scorpions. At some point, I will get some for sure. And I keep meaning to go down to Sheppy, and I've got black light now, so that'd be really, really cool to to get. Um, I've got a feeding video of my snakes. It's royal pythons, or of my one of my royals um, that I've been meaning to pop online. Uh, it wasn't actually meant for YouTube, it was more just uh, sort of, I say, an incident that happened recently, I filmed it, um, as personal, more than anything, I absolutely, l I adore my snakes, they're absolutely amazing, um, and I just got a really good, well, I say a really good, I don't know if the video quality is that great, I just got a long um, video of Anna, who's my original royal eating a rat um but she was so sort of stoked to come out when you open the door she's all out of the cage and out of the enclosure looking around and um i obviously had the rat in my hand and she went for it outside of the enclosure which is a good thing it shows that she's confident she's very confident very happy which is you know good for her but you're also not going to handle them or move them about when they've been eating obviously um, so I was trying to be careful to just let her f finish her food and hopefully go and hopefully go back into her enclosure on her own, which she didn't do in the end. But I got a pretty good, pretty good. There's the clap. There's the clap. There's the clap. I got a pretty good video um, of that, which is quite cool. And I mean, it's a long video, and I don't intend to edit it because, frankly, it wasn't meant for YouTube. Uh, but I can stick that on, and you know, if you don't want to watch it, that's that's fine. Um, if you are interested, you're more than welcome to have a little look. Um, yeah, so I think that's all the notes I've got down. Um, anything else big happening at the moment? Uh, I've got an order from Exo Factory. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about ordering from Exo Factory. They're one of these. They've got really good points. They've got really bad points. Some of their stuff seems very overpriced. Um, they have a really good variety. I'm not always happy with the postage. Um, I got some a little while ago. I got some Horogula species blue and Horogula majuscula, and they're packed. They were packed in boxes together, and they weren't. Obviously, I think it's from Poland, but they weren't a very fast delivery, and so we had a lot of casualties where they'd eaten each other because they're in the same tub, which I wasn't happy about. Um, and they sent me a load of extra things. They sent me a whole tub of extra pronances great thumbs up i'm always happy for that um but they didn't list what they were and i tried contacting them and they never got back to me and now it's been like two weeks and i think if i contact them they're, they're just not going to know so i've got about 10 of these mystery promances they've got a question mark on their little box and hopefully i should be able to identify them when they're a bit bigger but you know with some of the species like the horogia species if you're trying to distinguish the difference between sort of grandis and members here and the jescular. it's a real fucker, like, it's a real, real, real fucker, um, you know, again, pol polyspilator, um, you're looking between griffins and, griffins and Madagascan marbles, it's, it's near on impossible to tell, um, they say obviously the stripe on the wing, but it's the odd marbled who has the stripe on the wing, um, so, that's, that's a bit of a bastard, but they do have a wide selection, a really wide selection and if you're looking for something very specific it's a good way to go um, so I've got some giant shield mantises which are Romadera not basilisk the other ones the other Romadera giant and I can't remember what they are um, and then the other one is I got some more Pistapolata genensis and they are mega mantis and they're huge, and I mean they're huge, I mean like hand size, so I've got a couple at the moment, but they're only nymphs, um, but they'll be great videos, so 
that'd be uh, that'd be cool. Someone was saying, "What's my favourite praying mantis?" Um, that's Hannah Confuser. Um, got a couple of oof of those. Very expensive. Haven't hatched yet. I don't know whether they're going to work. I think they're wild caught, and in my experience, wild caught almost never works. I don't know why. Nothing from them yet. Um, if you're looking for images, that's uh, that's moss mantises. They're just they're the most stunning prey mantis you'll ever see. Um, I also recently saw one I haven't seen before, Toxidera species dragon. Have a look at those. I really want some, but <laughs> cheapest I can find is import from America for nine hundred dollars each. Um, but if anyone ever knows where I can get some odd prey mantises, you know, give me a give me a bell on YouTube, and I'll definitely be down for getting them. Um, I want to get some crazy ones in this collection, and I'm happy to keep the ones who are a bit of a bastard to keep. Um, so yeah. Um, thank you for watching, you didn't have to watch this, and thank you for all the subscribers, I mean, I'm on 130 now, that's really something. Thank you to all of the people that have helped me get this far, Daniel Oakley, Alan Hicken, thank you Spider, Tarantula, the Spider Lady, bloody Deadly Tarantula Girl, can't believe that you subscribed, that's a big fucking confidence booster. Uh, little lad, however, however I'm saying that, little lad Connolly, your channel was bloody great as well. All the nice comments on YouTube, thanks for that. Um, oh God, what else? Who else? Who else? Trench Radict. Jesus, I should have given you one of those mystery boxes at the at the, at the show. I missed out there. That would have been cool. I mean, it's like, oh my god, these guys are like absolute geniuses. They've been doing it for years and years. But, um, yeah, you know, cheers for watching. And I hope you enjoy the videos. And I hope you continue to watch them. And, uh, yeah, see you later. Toodaloo.